So some of the main benefits of growing a cover crop on your farm are reducing or weed suppression, uh, retaining soil moisture in your soil, uh, uh, reducing soil erosion, addition of nutrients, and uh, adding beneficial insect habitat to your farm. Some of uh, the major functions of cover crops um, on organic farms is you'd like to, uh, a big problem with organic farming is weeds because you can't use uh, chemicals. So one way to help suppress weeds is to just physically outcompete the weed and, and take up space um, just through their roots and their biomass, which as they're growing, their biomass creates shade. And so shading, um, it's gonna lower the soil temperature and reduce uh, the actual amount of sunlight getting to the soil floor. And so that um, will suppress weed seeds from germinating. Uh, another major function um, is soil moisture content. So you want to retain um, as much moisture, especially in drought conditions, as possible. And so you think like while, while the plants are growing, yes, they are taking in water, but they're also serving to keep, uh, keep a shade over, over your soil. So you'll um, retain moisture in your soil. Um, as well as, uh, as, your, as your cover crop's growing, it's, um, it's putting roots down into the soil. So that's going to help with soil erosion. Um, there's, that's a huge with wind erosion down here in Texas. Um, and you want to have those roots in the ground to really hold um, and retain your soil. Um, and then uh, another function is um, you, you're looking for fertilizer. It's, it's a, basically you're growing, growing the food for your plants for the next season. Depending on when you plant your, your cover crop, um, you, want, you want it to flower. And so as it's, uh, once it flowers, it's going to attract uh, hopefully beneficial pollinators into your field and also just having biomass in your field no matter if it's flowering or not that's going to harbor insects um, lots of beneficials and um, that way you will have that population when you finally do plant again uh, so some people actually do rows they'll actually have a row of cover crop and then a row of their their um, their vegetable crop to have that beneficial effect of pollinating